All right, so we're gonna resume slightly after the uh, last video. Haven't really done much to them, but I did spray some high build primer on them, which I will do again. But I did it and it really kind of highlighted where errors were in the fenders. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little tired of working on them. Just kind of want this project to be done, but I'm trying not to like half-ass it. So I'll just be transparent with that. So there might be some small errors that I'm just gonna be okay and I'm gonna live with. But at the current moment, I've already kind of touched up one fender. So here's the second. So basically it's got a high build primer on it. And then I took some of this guide coat and I rubbed it all over it, right? And you can, with the idea is it's gonna show me any of the high lows and uh, show me where any big scratches are. So like you can see right here, right? It just kind of highlighted the crap that that is uneven and needs some work in there for sure. Right there, same thing. So basically all I'm gonna do now is just dry sand this with 220 until I get that all kind of even and uh, kind of just mock them on the car again. And then honestly, if there are any little areas I need to put some spot putty on, I will. Like the one I got going on over here, a little couple spots of some spot putty, just gently. And uh, then I'll probably throw some high blood primer on it again and cross my fingers that it's just gonna be good enough. And I can't believe I'm saying that. I really hate to say like good enough. It's just, I could probably spend an eternity on these things till they're like, you know, just perfect. And I just don't wanna do that. They're gonna be good enough. They're gonna look still pretty good, I think. And uh, they'll function for what they're supposed to do and we'll move on. So let's get to just dry sanding that. And uh, fingers crossed this is the last time uh, doing any real work to it. All right, so I did some uh, just 220 grit sanding and I threw a little more spot putty on and hopefully this is it and she's done. I'm gonna scuff the whole thing with 220 and then we'll go and put some primer on it. But so for now, here's where I'm gonna settle. And I'm sorry, but I'm settling. So, thing is, whoops, double flip. There's the gap. I'm not gonna lie, I know the gap at the bottom of that fender is bigger than the top. The door opens up just fine. Oop, well, I do right there. It did, did hook on it once, but I can adjust that a little bit by moving that either in or just sanding a little bit, but let's see. Oh, there we go. So for the most part, it was fine. Um, and you can see the gap difference. You can, I get it. The bottom is more, that's what it'll look like. Cool, she's pretty bolted up. She's got two bolts in it now. See the fender gap here at the front, pretty good. And yes, naturally it's gonna get bigger towards the back because it's gonna look that way because the hood is raised. Here is the other side, maybe just a skosh wider over here, but I can live with that and I can always move it just a little bit more, but same thing. The only difference with this side is I need to move that. You can see here, I need to tighten this up to push this in a little bit more, which will move that in a little bit. And this is gonna have a little bit of a drop off, but <sighs> I'm done. I'm done. It'll look friggin' good when it's all painted up. I'm done. Well, I'm not done. Let me do a little more sanding. Take, we'll take these off, do a little more sanding and we'll resume a uh, lance and primer. All right, so I've done a bad job of filming this process. I've kind of been rushing, so I'm gonna fast forward. I prepped everything the best I could. I sanded it, did what I had to do, primered where I needed to. I threw some high build primer on it. I was trying to paint my buddy Joe's stuff at the same time, primered his stuff, and my goal was to basically get my fenders on at the same time. Well, I rushed it. I don't think I let stuff cure enough, and then long story short, my clear coat got some solvent pops in it. So what I should have done was sand it all the way back down, you know, to get all the salt and pops at least out and then throw some high build primer over it, throw base and so forth. But rushing, didn't do that. I scuffed it, got rid of any big salt and pops that I could really quickly see. So sanded those aggressively and then primed areas that I went through the base coat already on and then threw some base coat over. I think I threw two or three coats of base coat over it. I think I threw three and then did three coats of clear. So I'll say this. There are still some, there's some stuff that landed in it, which we're gonna wet sand it right now anyways. And there's a couple little salt pops you might not be able to see, you might be able to, I don't know. But what I will say is this clear coat came out the smoothest I think I've ever laid, or pretty close to it. Um, garage is still a mess, but here it is. So, right, they're all tan. The goal still is tan, roughly black where my hand is. I'm gonna match it, you know, the same thickness as what's on the car. And then it'll be like tan, tan, and then black. So right now I'm gonna wet sand this with a thousand grit and work my way up. Just kind of see how it smooths out. I think what I'm gonna do is wet sand the whole thing, buff down there in the center, put a fender on the car, mark where it needs to be, SEM paint, and then just buff the whole thing. 
that's my uh, game plan for now. All right, so the fender is not fully bolted on. Kind of wet sand some of it. I'm just kind of eyeballing here, right? So basically what I'm thinking is this would be black, right? Then this would all be black. This is the only part that would be tan to kind of match the door. Um, just kind of debating, right? Because this comes up, technically this would be like a little bit small line across this. I'm not against that. Just kind of debating on if that would be good or not. Um, right? I could always just lightly turn that off. It's just going to be SMSEM paint. Um, it'll last, but some people have said just paint the whole bottom black. I don't want to necessarily do that just yet because I can always go to that. I'd rather start small and go there and this might match the car a little bit better. I don't know. <sighs> the debates. All right, I'll admit this video was a little all over the place. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to get down to the racetrack this weekend and I got some OCD on some things, right? And I just know I would never get done with it. So I tried my best. I went after it and I said, you know what? This is good enough. It's a track tool, should be functional, and it looks all right. I know a lot of you are like, man, it looks hopefully great. And uh, I do think it looks great. I'm not trying to downplay it. But what I will say is I probably could have wet sanded a little bit in some areas that would have came out better. But my tape line on the black, as you'll see in a second, uh, could probably look better. But overall, looking at it, I mean, it looks great. So... Without further ado, let's go with a front shot. And I've been cleaning the garage, so I'm not fully done with that, but here's a little front shot action. There it is, right? So this is the idea that I wanted. So from head on, the front of the fender, roughly where my finger is, it's not like, whoop, and just pulled out. It has like kind of a body flow, like little arch that goes with it. And I kinda, that's kinda what I was going for. So let's do the other side. Kind of the same thing, right? Here's an above look of it on this side. An above look on that side. And I'm not gonna lie, friggin' in love with doing the uh, black, right? So it's just black SEM paint. I kind of taped it off. Tape line, if you look closely, is kind of, I got a little bit crazy. I think up there, maybe I'll be able to see it. Yeah, a little off there, but right? Not the end of the world. Look at it. There's a side view of it, looks good. Now, some people are gonna say, oh man, the wheel looks so messed up. I mean, yeah, look at it, it's off-centered. I'm not gonna debate that at all. And it's off-centered because of the way that I pulled the fender. I mean, I totally get it, it's not a huge ordeal to me. I think it looks kind of rad, and uh, I think I did it on this one. Yeah, you might not be able to see, but there's a rib nut up in there. So I'm not done. This, I'm done for now, but this size bat I'm going to extend up all the way to there. I'm gonna have it bolted into that rib nut also along with the three mounting points it does there. And I'm going to, if you can picture that, right? So it's gonna kind of come up. My finger right now is in the rib nut. So it's gonna kind of tie, you know, I'll have it come out a little bit and kind of cut it down just differently, right? Uh, that'll be another video, but that will also, I think from a side profile, make it just look a little different. Um, yeah, so. There are subtle differences, right, in the driver's side and the passenger side. I'm not gonna argue that, but uh, they're pretty similar for the most part. Pretty similar. I'm just kind of giving you guys a couple more angles of it. Let's do one where we just look straight down. I mean, I could probably run like a 15 by nine. Let's see if this works, we'll go out a little bit. Oh, you already can see it, woo! I mean, yeah. So that wrap this video up. I know I didn't show much. I mean, long story short, if you just go from the video prior to this, right? Three more body filler, sanded it, high build primer, paint, which if you guys watched when I painted the car, kind of the, the same process. If I had to do this whole thing again, the car again, high build primer, high build primer. I didn't use it the first time. It definitely covers tons of little scratches and pinholes. And uh, yeah. That's that, I'm looking at it, I'm just kind of loving it. So track is this weekend, going down to ASR, Royal Seco. Um, I'll probably put a video out on that as a nighttime attack. I don't know if I'll be doing the night portion. The practice is during the evening, which is great, but the night portion itself, I, I'm not blind, but I don't have the greatest vision and I don't run on that track. It's not like my home track, right? I've barely been on it, so I don't know the layout that well, well enough that when it's pitch black, I'm just gonna rely on my headlights. So, but I'll have some footage from it. 
maybe I'll take some medicine and I can go for some rides. I'm not good as a passenger, but maybe I'll go for some rides or, you know, who knows what. But so on the video here, hopefully, you know, maybe you guys kind of saw this process. Again, if I did it, I'd have some things I would change during it. But overall, super stoked how they came out. Uh, really curious what you guys think of it. Good, bad, whatever. As always, I appreciate everybody for watching. Leave your comments, bitches, gripes, whatever it may be about these fenders down below. And uh, can't wait to start trying this staggered setup out and see how much I enjoy it or don't enjoy it. So that being said, stay tuned for the next video, guys. Thanks again for watching.